types of things. It'd be interesting. So, of course, this is the noob stream as we talked about. Welcome, friends. Uh, my name is Sunspan, joined by Prepare Purge. For battle. And That's me. We So, this is actually a different stream than you guys will be used to if you've been watching Dota in the past. I know some of you are actually not newbies, so welcome to you as well. But if you are a newbie, we'll be talking about little things here and there about the game. There are so many things to talk about, it's pretty much impossible to cover everything. So, if you become confused, try not to get overwhelmed with good sirs and madams. But with this, of course, newbie versus Vici Gaming, best of three. This is game one of the first game in the International Four. Uh, for what, 10 point, God knows how many million at this point. So this is, oh, actually we might have a level one fight. What a way to start this game if this is gonna happen. I don't know though. No, they it looks like Vichy doesn't want to do it. They yeah. don't want to do it. So that ability you just saw from Weaver, which is the cockroach ant insect type of deal, that is Shikuchi that we talked about. So he goes invis, invisible that is, and maximum. Oh, they want to fight, really? Are you serious? They're going on with the Shadow Demon. He's taking some damage. He's being close. They do end up getting him. If How can live, this is really big for Newbie. They're starting things off. Styler taking a lot of damage. There's a sentry ward over here. But I think he's going to be able to run to safety. He'll use his item called a Tango. This kills the tree, but it also gives him a bit of HP regen over time. So it's a very cool way that you can jump through trees and avoid the map. But a nice first blood by Newbie there. Vici Gaming was the team that initiated to try to start the fight, but it didn't go well for them. They ended the up begins. getting first blood. And what first blood does, it not only gives your team golden experience, but you get an extra 200 because it was the first kill in the game. So and that goes to Chen. That is the, the jungling hero here. So he's going to buy a really fast boots. This means that his ganking is going to be way more deadly. Oh, yeah, that's going to be so sick. But I think what Vici was trying to do, and we talked a little bit about this with the Shadow Demon, who's now going to the top right here. But, uh, when you saw that disruption, that red spell from that Shadow Demon, it actually is a very good setup for the Leshrac split earth. But I don't believe he got that off, or at least it wasn't in combination, because that would have been a pretty easy kill overall. Yeah. Um, instead, Newbie turned around and got the yeah, first Yeah, one. the stun did land, I believe, but at that point, um, there was really good focus fire by Newbie. They immediately went on the squishiest here on Vici Gaming, the easiest one to kill, and that was definitely Shadow Demon. So that was just really good target fire from them. Now we're going to see the first smoke of defense. Uh, smoke smoke of, the sea. of the defenses. <laughs> smoke, of, smoke the defenses. Uh, smoke of Deceit of the TI4 finals here, and what this does is it makes them invisible to things like wards, and what wards do is they spot the ground and they can see enemy heroes coming. So if we take a look at Vision really fast here, the Radiant team does have an Observer Ward here. They would have spotted these two supports swinging around, but because they used the smoke, it's not going to get spotted. So these guys are invisible. Oh, they just ran out of smoke. It's going to go away on players. There's the Tango coming through. He's going to try to get the disruption off, but he's not able to catch him. How reacting really nicely there. I think that's because their their Observer Ward, yeah, they have an Observer Ward of their own right here. So as soon as the Shadow Demon walked a little too close to the Radiant Hero. They got revealed, and then they did end up seeing him here. So That's might as why well just off. bring up what wards are here. Of course, they're yeah. going to look a little bit different from time to time because of cosmetics and whatnot, but generally speaking, you can see right there, that is the yellow-looking eyeball is the Observer Ward. This gives a ton of vision. Of course, it's not true vision, which means if they're invisible, yeah. they cannot see. But it, vision is actually one of the most important aspects of Dota 2. And the little blue one is you don't actually get clear vision but you get to see invisible units yeah. once they're you, you get something called True Sight. So if you see this blue eye above the sentry wards, it allows you to see observers. And look at this, they actually both made mistakes. They're trying to catch each other's observer wards, but if you look at the outside, they barely Dyer's missed it here, and the other attack. sentry ward also barely missed it. Oh, they found it. Then, really? Uh, okay. Nice job. They actually ended up catching it just barely, so that observer ward ends up dying. It allows you to see invisible things like sentry wards, and it barely was within range. So the ward goes down, and this means that newbie is not going to be able to see where Vici Gaming is standing in their lane as easily. If we take a look at their vision, this gives them a lot of tactical information. Well, it hurts their tactical information. Now they don't know where their supports are standing. They don't know if their supports are swinging around to go mid. They don't know if their supports are sitting in lane. They don't know if they're hiding in trees. It gives them a lot of good opportunities. And since they're doing an aggressive try lane, which means that they're putting three heroes on the dangerous lane for Vici Gaming, mean that they can try to initiate. They want to reduce the amount of farm that Howl on the Luna gets here. And now he has to play scared. If you watch his positioning, he's going to get a last hit and he's going to back up a little bit because he's worried about where these supports are. Yeah, because there's not a real threat of an actual killer, can we just talk quickly if you can mouse over the barracks, any of the barracks sure. right here. So every 30 seconds, these creeps that just spawned will come out. Creeps are, of course, uncontrollable units that are just mindless in their destruction of the earth as they just head towards the middle of their lane. So there are three lanes. There's a top middle and bottom for each respective team and the goal of the game is just to push and eventually you want to push down the ancient or the enemy's throne if you will but there are a lot of structures in 
uh, that will be coming in your way. So like the towers, you can't just go into the base and start killing it, even if you're really yeah. strong. You have to take them in succession. So the first towers, which we'll call Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and then eventually Tier 4. So look out for that as we, as we see the creeps continue to push in favor of their team. Yep, and both Tier 4 towers have to be down before the Ancient. Now, you might see a game where somebody types something in all chat. You'll see some text in this area of the map. It'll say GG usually, and that means that people are giving up. And at that point, the Ancients or the the, um, the ancients can die earlier, but that's the only circumstance that you'll see that. Basically, a conceit. Dyer's bottom yeah. tower Yeah, yeah just to make attack. the games go a little faster to save time in terms. But sometimes the team knows that they're going to lose no matter what, and they will end up quitting a little early. So some pressure is actually happening on the bot lane here. Newbie's going to try to take their first tower. They do have have a creep here that Banana has brought. He's putting some nuke damage on them. There's the Lightning Storm ability that Dire we're expecting to see here. Hawk actually ends up getting a solo kill on the top lane. That's a really big thing here. Doom going down like that. Nice kill How by Xiao Wei. How is that possible? I, of course, really... the reason I, I bring that up is because Puck is an intelligence hero. Oh, I see why. Pretty difficult to Dire's kill, but check out his items. Attack. Doom has a bottle. And that's no it. Boots. He doesn't wow. have a boots yet. The face boots are really important. They, every hero can have one type of boots. I'll show you some in the shop really quick here. Here's the basic boots. They cost 450 gold, but there are a couple more boot choices. You can kind of see them over here. And when you have boots over your opponent, it's a really big advantage. So look at this. Look what Zhao Wei's doing. He's running away as soon as ROTK gets close, and then he right clicks him again. And look what's happening again. He's just hitting him a lot. And face boots is better than your regular boots. It actually gives you 24 damage. So instead of hitting for 67 damage, uh, the Puck hits for about 90 damage instead. ROTK, the Doom here, he doesn't even have boots yet. So that means not only is Puck a ranged hero and Doom's a melee hero, which is already a big disadvantage, but he had a whole phase boots up on him. So because ROTK bought that bottle first, I'm sure what happened was Zhao Wei pressured him a lot, the Puck pressured him a lot, and he ended up getting a kill on him. So really nicely done by Zhao Wei. I'm pretty sure you Puck. caught on camera that the first ability of his is called Devour, where he yeah, can I actually did. eat a creep. It gives you extra gold over time, but you can also use it on a neutral creep, which are the ones that are found in the jungle, which he hasn't done yet, surprisingly, because a lot of them are blocked off right now but if you do that you actually gain the abilities of that neutral creep as well which is pretty big especially in the early game because yeah. there's one in particular that gives you health regeneration so if you find that, top tower that might is help him attack. survive in this lane but it's just not to be it well actually he's going to keep going he's actually just going to leave the lane come find one we do have a rune spawning in five seconds banana the chen here is going to camp the bot rune spot it's, it's not here it's a top rune and there it is uh, the Doom is going to bottle this up, so when his bottle is empty, he can store runes, and it fills up the bottle again, as you can see. It also allows you to save that rune, but instead, Doom decided to use it immediately, because he wants to walk back to lane. They're pressuring on Bali, Siler ends up getting killed. Nice kill there by Newbie, and this should allow them to take the tower once these bugs go away. This creep's really nice, Dyer's actually. It gives a free armor aura to attack. all the creeps, which increases their survivability against physical damage, but the rest of Vici is coming in. How's taking damage from Super? He's really low. He wants to eclipse this. Can he catch him or not? There's he Clips coming down. It's hitting the wrong targets, but Super is going to end up going down. Barely surviving 18 HP. He's going to stay alive. Another death may happen as well. Dyer's Can they kill Fenrir? Nukes happened here, attack. but the Shadow Shaman doesn't have any disable yet. Runes spawn every two minutes. Every two minutes they'll spawn on either the top or the bottom room. And like we said, you can put him in the bottle. Doom ends up getting a kill on the other side of the map. So a return kill for him. That is the first and that's kill for Vici Gaming. I have to say, Newbie, although they're considered not the favorites in this match. I would say the weaker team, yeah, well, for sure. Course, but they are on an absolutely ridiculous winning streak. Right? Yeah. I mean, you can't ever take that not into account because the confidence coming into these games is very, very important. And they're pushing really, really hard right now. So this is really great to see. But we'll see if Vici Gaming can bounce back. They did get a kill top, finally, because Doom, his ultimate is pretty much one of the most ridiculous ultimates in the game. It's a single yeah. target spell. When you apply it to an enemy, it damages them for a lot over time. It silences, uh, silences them completely over time, which includes both abilities and items, which is very unique. So this it's is one of the most really powerful good spells against Puck. In the game. Puck is a hero that relies on, on its spells to cast. You need the Illusory Orb to get out of danger. You need to be able to use Phase Shift to dodge a hit once in a while. And you generally, I mean, she, he has a very low HP, 700 Dyer's HP, so Doom is a great counter. Fallen. Every time Doom hits, uh, has Doom up in 20 seconds, for example, he's going to want to try to get a kill again on the Puck. So we'll see him probably rotate back to lane right now and look for that kill again. In fact, we didn't catch it on camera, but when he picked up that Invisor, he actually used it to help get his kill against Puck because she didn't see it coming. But Dragon Knight in the mid lane, going to be backing up. Dyer's Too much damage to speak of. You see attack. the wards placed by Shadow Shaman. That's what Purge talked about at the beginning of the game. They will help push this tower. So that means two Dyer's towers dead tower in fallen. favor of Newbie. So towers, Dyer's not only do they get gold when you kill attack. them to your entire team, 
uh, but they also give up a lot of map position. So now that this tower is dead, look at Nubi. They don't feel too scared being able to push into this tier two. So Vici Gaming basically has to play on the, the back foot. And this is a, actually a double damage rune on Luna. So this is quite a bit of damage to speak of. Doom, of course, has his ultimate ready to go. If they want to go in here, he's going to eat a creep. Uh. They're Such a hard fight now, to take, though. I mean, they don't have good good setup. The best thing they can do to initiate is to cast Disruption on somebody and land it up immediately with Fenrir's Split Earth. But after that, what do they do? They'll Doom a guy, or maybe they'll Dragon Knight stun somebody. It's it's just really scary for them to fight this. Uh, How almost has Eclipse again. They'll have that. There's the Disruption. They're going to be the shape going on Moomy. Gets Doomed, actually a good target. If he gets killed right at the start of the fight, this is really good for them. Joey, the Puck trying to do things. Moomy running for his life. He's getting set back, though. It's going to be pretty close. He doesn't make it. Almost saved by Banana. The Chen, he has an ability that sends his allies back to base, and it takes a very long time at level 2, 5 seconds. He wasn't able to save him. How's going to go down as well. That's the Luna ended up ending up dying in a pretty good fight from Vici Gaming there. Yeah, two for two. They kill the enemy's carry, which is the hero that really doesn't want to die. They kill the enemy's mid. He also wants to continue getting items and a really good defense from Vici. That was actually perfect. They doomed they they doomed the really important hero here and they were able to kill the, the this other important hero Luna. It was really nice yeah, to keep in mind that Luna she did have her ultimate just didn't have a good Radiant's opportunity to cast tower. it because yeah. if you do attack. cast it and then you die it just goes away. Yep. Like you get pretty much nothing out of it. So with this next push, it's going to be even more powerful for Nubi, actually, because Chen picks up an item called a Mechanism. And this is a pretty damn early mechanism, I do say so. With this item, you click it, you heal yourself, your allies, you give armor to everybody. It's very good for pushing and for sustaining in team fights. so expect them to just group up again and just go for this top tower. Yep, uh, this would have also saved a lot of their allies, but they I think they got the item about halfway through the he fight. He bought it like when he was uh -huh. running away. And the other problem with going for a really fast mechanism like that is you start running into mana problems. Mechanism uses 150 mana, his ultimate heals for 200 on all of his heroes. That costs 200 mana, and all of a sudden, you were talking about 350 just for those two skills, he's already out. He's only got about 70 mana on top oh, of that, so wow. he's got a really fast mechanism, but it's difficult to end up using everything that you need to in a fight. They're going to group up here, Dyer's take this tier 1 tower. I don't believe attack. Vici's going to... Well, they do pop the fortification. Oh, that wow. golden ring around the tower means that you cannot actually damage it for 5 seconds, but it's on a 6 second cooldown, so they're not going to have it for the next push, but... A 6 minute cooldown, or 5 Radiant's minute cooldown, actually. Oh, 5 minutes, okay. Yeah, well, Puck, I want to mention, he just picked up a Blink Dyer's Dagger, which is quite a decent amount of You just saw it? That? It's, uh, I just saw them do it. It's a short range teleport that's yeah. on a cooldown. And if you take player based damage, you can't blink for three seconds. So if your opponents want to kill you and you have this Radiant's item, they just have to keep hitting you. And it's usually fallen. not too difficult, especially Dyer's if you have an ability that does damage over time. Attack. So basically, more for offensive than defensive. But you can yes. use it for defensive if you're in the right opportunity here. But tier two tower, half HP. And they're just going to give it up again. So they did trade this tier one Dyer's bottom, which I don't believe we saw. So no, that's what we, we call a trade. They at least got something for it, but that's not even close. I mean, tier twos are worth a lot more than tier ones. And Newbie just going to continue to push. This is something we saw from them in the last series that we cast. As look at all the damage. Vichy Gaming, Dragonite at half the health. There's the ultimate from Puck. The Luda is not doing anything, though. Okay, it's going to get left track in the very meantime. They're going to group up. They're going to back up a bit here. Was there actually a mech used? Yep. For Vici? Okay, Vici uh, I don't think Vici has one, yeah. Okay, Newbie this, just used theirs, though. The tornadoes, all oh, these tornadoes are so annoying. The the going. Oh, Doom gets picked off right at the start of the fight. This is really good for Doomy. I think they are, they're in such a commanding lead. What an outdraft here. This is exactly what happened. I mean, Vici Gaming saw the push attack. coming, but they didn't expect the Chen, and the Chen is doing Dyer's a really big amount of work. So like, the significance uh, of killing these barracks, by the way, these are Dyer's barracks. There's barracks the melee and there's a range. When you kill them, as they just did, for the rest of the game, the creeps in that lane, for you, will be much stronger. So in the next five seconds, you will see them spawn from... the uh, newbie's base, and what this means is it'll just continue to push that top lane. The fact that it's 12 minutes in, which is very early to get a barracks, means that newbie is in very is in really good position to take this. Yeah, the melee creeps have 700 HP. The range creeps have 500 HP. And if we compare this to a normal lane creep, 700. Uh, it's 560 for melee and 310 for range, and they also do about 60% more damage as well. So this lane is constantly going to push now for the entire rest of the game. It's so early. This is a disgustingly early barracks, and disgusting. It, it puts Vici in a really bad place. They have a they have 
a really hard time winning this game because of losing the racks that early. And it's because Newbie had such a smart draft. They picked really good heroes that synergized for early for early pushing. The Luna with the Chen and the Shadow Shaman together are great. And then they also have the Puck here. He's a great he's great for starting fights. You saw how the fight started there. Puck said, okay, I'm going. And he blinks in. He uses his ulti. He silences two to three heroes on Vici Gaming and nukes them down. And Vici Gaming just couldn't find an opportunity to initiate. They don't have the same survivability as Newbie does right now because of all those towers going down. It's a bunch of gold. Every tower is 200 yeah. gold for every person on Newbie's team. And they have five more towers. They have four more towers than Vici has. So every single hero on Newbie has at least 800 more gold on their person. And that gives them items. And those items allow you to win fights. And they've got a mech. They've got Chen Heal. They're in such a good place right now. Yeah, exactly. and they're going to force another about fight. Chen Heal yet. So his ultimate is called Hand of God. And when activated, it heals you and your teammates from a global scale. Here, another initiation. Puck only gets one. If they can get two, he gets, doesn't get his two up again. That's one day right off the bat. He and everybody's grouped up from Doobie. There you can see the Chen all coming oh out. Oh my god. Everybody, two very important heroes for Vici Gaming are dead right off the bat. Dragon Knight might be in some trouble as well. Puck just solos him. You've seen the Doom applied to Wow. There's the good game. This is a 14 minute game. Oh my god, what a start to TI4. Newbie making Vici Gaming look like the noobs of TI. Okay. But this yeah, isn't the. They got the highest win ratio in the entire group <laughs> stage, man. That's this true. team wants to win. They came from almost getting eliminated, and now they just took the first game off of the top team in 14 minutes. What the hell is going that on? It felt like a warm-up game. I mean, Let's get to game two. It was oh, the yeah. beautiful pick. Like, there's been a lot of teams that have been drafting Doom this entire tournament. They've been picking really greedy lines.